Welcome back to SHP Case Studies. Today we have a massive global corporation that you've all heard of, you all use every day that we're doing work for in a very specific type of manner, in a very specific instance. But nonetheless, this specific case study is for our client, Amazon. Yes, you heard that right. Yet we aren't calling necessarily homeowners or consumers we are working on their property management side. How could they have a property management side? Well, you've probably seen this quite a bit. Uh, they offer Amazon lockers for pickup of their packages. So the industry that we are reaching out to on behalf of Amazon is real estate. So we're contacting property managers at real estate uh, companies. And I'll get more into the details about that. Uh, but the story is pretty cool so far and is currently developing. We are working for them as we speak, and we've been working with them since the fourth quarter of 2022. So the way that this works is that this client in particular had an issue because they didn't have the sales staff at hand to be able to make outbound calls and connect with property managers at different locations across the United States to really sell them on the idea of bringing an Amazon locker at their property, whether it's commercial or residential. So our job was to essentially set out to create a message and objective for uh, communicating and selling these property managers on bringing the Amazon locker into their location. The crazy thing is too, it's free. So you'd think it would be a breeze, but it's not quite that way, especially when you have certain regulations or red tape that you have to go through at these real estate investment companies, real estate development companies, um, to make this work. So the idea was that we were going to craft a script that would really ask some discovery questions using our consultative format and the H, H method to identify if this would be a good fit, ask some discovery and close with some next steps in somewhat of a survey format. Now, what's interesting about this is that first we didn't have an appointment as the final step in our objective. Uh, it wasn't our next step that we were originally going for until recently. And I want to share with you about that because I think that's just uh, a great example of how cold calling consistently evolves and changes based upon the market. You know, in our four pillars of cold call success, all four have to have a hundred percent weight distribution for cold calling to be successful. And if you don't have one that's very high in percentage distribution, then you're really putting a lot of weight on the others. So what is that perfect balance that gives us the highest possible results? Those four pillars are product relevance, target market accuracy, messaging strength, and SDR fit. So we knew the product was relevant, but what was the right messaging strategy for the market that we're reaching out to? So in this first campaign, we had discussed a next step tier of a quick survey and then a follow-up to get them signed up. Now that was working and we were getting some some hits and we were getting some, a lot of surveys actually, but what we found was that there wasn't enough closing happening. There wasn't enough deals sold. People get busy. They were interested, but we couldn't quite hone in and harness that positive response. So you'll see in this case study, we decided to change and pivot to more of an appointment setting and you can see the results increase. So let me run through the script quickly. So you get a sense of, uh, what the messaging is like in this conversation. Hi, this is Ryan. I'm calling on behalf of Amazon because your property qualifies for a free locker and enhancements to your current key service that allows third party deliveries. Do you currently have space for a locker either inside or outside your building? I love that. I love that quick prop and hone in because it's a very quick introduction of who we are to the point. Gets you, gets you in the right frame of mind to think in and then asks you a question that's very relevant to them and gets them in a conversation. That's the whole point. We don't need to ask, you know, what's it like to not have a locker? 
you know, or something where are you satisfied without having a locker? Like we're just assuming the sale here by asking, do you currently have a space for locker either inside or outside your building? Because this is going to happen. If yes, if no, uh, that's whatever the answer is, you know, in that bridge, we prepare and then we customize the calling prop accordingly. We provide a secure self-service locker designed to manage packages for your apartment building tenants. We'll be adding parcel delivery, prepared food and grocery delivery, water delivery, et cetera, in the near future. But we also provide, and we can go into all of these bullets, depending on maybe some of the comments that they made. Then we go into discovery to re-engage. How are you currently securing tenant deliveries? We can have some type of response by that, maybe mark that down for our notes and then go to the next steps. We just need to update some information to help get the locker installation set up. Can I ask you a few questions so our team can follow up to get the process started? Now, let me pause here because that was the original script that we had for the first two campaigns. There was lots of interest. We were getting some to sign up, but it wasn't quite at the conversion rate we thought. So that's where we actually started to have a scheduled appointment. And you can see how there was a change in results in this last campaign. So let's look at the results. We had a really high DM connect rate. You know, the average that we see is just about an 8%. And this was generating a 14%, right? So that's one in every few calls we're getting the decision maker on the phone. Now, I want you to look at the lead setting rate. The lead setting rate was a 5.49. So this is all of the different types of leads, right? A warm lead, someone who's interested in a follow-up and maybe filled out the survey, but not ready for a specific date and time, a nurture lead who's just wanted some information, but no callback and even an appointment all combined was a 5.49. That's about one in every less than 20 calls, raw calls. We actually got someone to agree to this, which is great. Uh, now the problem is that you can see in the chart that, uh, the, well, you can't see it in the chart. The problem is that they weren't getting those closed deals. So what ended up happening is that if you look at the chart, we changed to that appointment, this, this most recent campaign, and we started to see an uptick in the number of appointments and a drop in the number of warm. And that's natural, right? Because the warm leads is what we were looking for the first two campaigns when really an appointment is been what's helping uh, on these campaigns to close more interest into next steps. So that's going to be a natural decrease in the warm, but an increase in the appointments. And since then, in the most recent reports, we found this to be much more engaging and converting for Amazon because they're able to then have a specific date and time that this property manager, property manager is accountable to instead of just you know relying on them to be interested enough to answer a call and follow up. Keeping them accountable and keeping them along the sales cycle can really help convert if you're trying to decide whether a warm lead or nurture or an appointment is the best next step for you. Are you a company that wants to grow their sales pipeline but don't know how to do it outside of cold email, inbound, and normal channels? Consider SHP. We provide cold call appointment setting and sales development services to generate leads and appointments outbound for your sales pipeline so you can have control over your sales destiny. Give us a call at the number provided or reach out to us in any way. We're happy to chat with you about how we can cold call and generate leads so that you don't have to. Be excited to do the work for you and can't wait to hear from you.